Hey everyone, here's our math problem for today. Let's say we are given a squared plus 7a plus 49 equals 0, and we want to find what is the value of a cubed given that the value of a is a complex number. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this algebra challenge. Now let's solve this problem together. There are different ways of attacking this problem. One is, since you would like to find the value of a cubed, Many of us might think it's easier to just find the value of a first, and then once we found the value of a, then we can raise it to the third to find the value of a cube. And so the solution would look like this. We find the value of a using quadratic formula, and simplifying, we'll notice that the value of a here is a complex number, and there are two of them. One is negative 7 halves plus 7i times the square root of 3 over 2, and the other is negative 7 halves minus 7i times square root of 3 all over 2. And so if you want to find the value of a cube, we are going to find the value of the cube of this binomial. And we know that finding the cube of a binomial would entail the use of this formula. And since we are dealing here with imaginary numbers, evaluating this cube of a binomial is not an easier approach, but it's doable. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to present first a method that is easier than using this evaluation of these imaginary numbers to the third degree, and that is by using some algebraic manipulation. And then later on, we are going to check that answer by actually evaluating this expression. So let's start by analyzing this given equation. Let's subtract 49 from both sides of the equation so that all the terms with variables are at the left side. And we are going to remember this because we'll be using this later on. Next is, notice that in this given equation, a cannot be zero because if a is zero, this part here would be zero, this part here would be zero. 49 is not equal to zero. So we know that a could not be zero in this given equation. Now, having established that a is not equal to zero, let's multiply both sides of the equation by a, and let's simplify. We have a times a squared equals a cubed, a times 7a, 7a squared, a times 49 is 49a, the right side is zero. Since we are solving for a cubed, let's isolate a cubed at the left side of the equation by subtracting 7a squared and 49a from both sides of the equation. And to simplify this further, notice that negative 7 is common between the two terms at the right side of this equation. So let's factor out negative 7 to arrive at this expression. Now look at this value a squared plus 7a, and you have here also a squared plus 7a, which is equal to negative 49. That means we can replace this part here by negative 49, and this is what we have. We copy the negative 7, we replace a squared plus 7a by negative 49 because that is the value of a squared plus 7a that we arrived at a while ago. The negative 7 times negative 49 is 343 and this gives us already the value of a cube. We already know that a cube is equal to 343 and that solves the problem. So a cube is equal to 343. But wait, many of you might be protesting now. If a cube equals 343, then what's the value of a? Let's try to find the value of a. So let's take the cube root of both sides of the equation to get a equals the cube root of 343. And as a third degree equation, we are expecting three complex roots here. One of them is a equals seven because 7 times 7 times 7 is 343. But notice that if a equals 7, this becomes 7 squared, this becomes 7 times 7, which is 49, plus another positive number, there's no way for the sum of these three terms to be equal to 0. And therefore, it's not the root of this equation. In fact, this is an extraneous root. The other two roots are the values we arrive at when we solve for this equation using quadratic formula. And if you are going to take the cube of these two roots, if our answer is correct, we must be able to get 343 when we cube each of these two binomials. So let's do the cubing now using the formula for the cube of a binomial. So here, our x is negative 7 halves, so replace all these x's by negative 7 halves, and our y is 7i times square root of 3 over 2, so we replace all instances of y by that value. Then just copy the corresponding exponents, here exponent 2, here exponent 2, exponent 3. 
Simplifying, this first term becomes negative 343 over 8. This part here, negative 7 times negative 7 becomes positive 49. 2 times 2 is 4. Copy the rest. And this part here, the square of 7i times square root of 3 over 2 is negative 147 over 4. And here, the cube of 7i times square root of 3 over 2 is negative 343i times square root of 3 all over 8. Notice that if you raise i to the third degree, that becomes negative i. That's why you have negative here. Then simplify further. Here is what we arrive at. Notice now that this part here and this part here are additive inverses and that resulted to zero, leaving us with negative 343 over 8 plus 3087 over 8, which is equal to 2744 over 8, which is also equal to 343. And that is now the value of our a cube. So it's verified that the value of this is 343. Now for the other root, where we have the minus sign here, we do the same evaluation. So using the same formula and substitution, notice again that the value of a cube here is 343, which is also a confirmation that our answer for a cube is really correct. And so to summarize now what we found out, given a squared plus 7a plus 49 equals 0, the value of a cube is indeed 343, but the value of a r negative 7 over 2 plus 7i times square root of 3 over 2 and negative 7 over 2 minus 7i times square root of 3 over 2. a equals 7 is the extra root of the cube root of 343 because that will not satisfy our given quadratic equation. Thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video.